So Larry, let's talk a little bit about the benefits that you get if you're divorced. Well, you have to stay married for 10 years to collect any divorce benefits, whether it's a divorced spousal benefit or a divorced widow's benefit. You don't have to live with a person for 10 years, but you still have to formally stay married for 10 years, one day too short, and you lose all those potential benefits. And the other thing is you can't be remarried and collect ex-spousal benefits. And normally you have to be at least 62 and your ex-spouse has to either be collecting benefits or you have to have been divorced for two years and they also have to be of claiming age. So how much is an ex-spousal benefit? It's very similar to a normal spousal benefit. Spousal benefits max out at full retirement age, which is 66 these days. And at that age, you're entitled to half of your ex-spouse's Social Security earnings at their full retirement age of 66. If you take divorced spouse benefits early uh, or divorced widow's benefits early, they'll all be reduced compared to taking them later. For most people, the divorcee spousal benefit is only going to be received if it's larger than the benefit you'd get on your own record. So that's very important to keep in mind. And one thing to keep in mind, which is a surprise to some people, is that if your ex-spouse files a claim on your earnings for ex-spousal benefits, it has no negative effect on your own Social Security benefits. A lot of people worry about that, but they're entirely separate. I'm Larry Kotlikoff. And I'm Phil Moeller and we're here to help you get what's yours from Social Security.